Beginning in the early 1960s, lawmakers in the United States started revolutionizing the American workplace. In a process that continues to this day, governments began creating legal rights for various groups of people to be free from workplace discrimination and harassment. In the 50 years that followed, individuals gained the right to be free from discrimination and harassment motivated by a number of protected characteristics. Those include race, color, national origin, gender, religion, age, disability, genetic information, and a number of others. Today's discussion is designed to help you understand your rights and your responsibilities when it comes to illegal discrimination in the workplace. Now, in my years as a practicing labor and employment attorney, I've come to the realization that most people understand these laws and recognize how important they are to our society. The overwhelming majority of people just don't engage in workplace behavior that might be insulting or offensive to others. But I can also tell you that unlawful discrimination and harassment do still happen. Sometimes that behavior is motivated by uh, an intentional prejudice or a hatred. And other times, people violate the law without meaning to do so. It may be a lack of understanding the law, or it may be a lack of understanding how some behaviors can be interpreted and taken by other groups of people. In fact, in 2013, the United States Equal Employment Opportunity Commission processed almost 100,000 individual formal charges of discrimination by workers. Even though most of those charges were ultimately dismissed, that number alone should tell you that the issues of discrimination and harassment are still very much in the minds of the American workforce. So that brings us back to the point of today's presentation. Your employer absolutely prohibits discrimination and harassment in the workplace. It does not expect you or anyone else to tolerate that type of behavior. This presentation is designed to help you recognize improper behavior and give you the tools to properly react. So by the end of this presentation, you should understand illegal discrimination and harassment, how to respond to them, and what the consequences of those behaviors should be. The result should be a healthy and positive workplace for everyone.